Beverage with Blippi. That's me. <sighs> the margarita. Everyone's had a margarita. It's one of the most popular drinks in bars all across the country. And it came from an older drink that is one of my favorite called the sidecar. Here we start with uh, tequila. I use a Reposado tequila uh, for my margaritas a lot, though a Blanco is just fine. Uh, we also are using an orange liqueur. Uh, in this case, we are using triple sec. Though there are plenty of uh, orange liqueurs out there you can use. Uh, Cointreau makes a very nice margarita, a little more upscale. Uh, Grand Marnier, Grand Gala, uh, Curacao in both its white and blue forms. Uh, all kinds of orange liqueurs, they have slightly different flavor profiles, so you can use uh, whichever one you are happiest with in your drink. And of course, we're gonna use some fresh limes, uh, fresh limes uh, for fresh lime juice, uh, and a little bit of simple syrup. Which I forgot to take out of the fridge, but a little bit of simple syrup. And some people uh, use um, this. Uh, this is a sweet and sour mix, you can get it. Uh, at the store, uh, very popular. A lot of uh, chain restaurants use a sweet and sour mix. Uh, either they buy from like master mixes like uh, uh, this one, or they uh, might have a proprietary one that they make. Uh, makes an okay margarita. If you like it, drink it. I am not here to tell anybody not to drink something. If you like it, that's the way it should be made. That's how you should do it. Uh, what I try to do here is to show you uh, how things are made and why they are made traditionally the way they are. And that way, uh, if you know that and you're solid with the reasons why a drink is the way it is, you can change it. You can break the rules to make it yours. These things tend to be a little too sugary for the most part. Uh, I think it ruins uh, a cocktail like the margarita. It's too sweet. Uh, Master Mixes actually is not super, super sweet, uh, but like many other sweet and sour mixes, what it is is it's very lemon juice uh, heavy, uh, tastes a lot like lemons. And that's not what's in a margarita. What's in a margarita? Limes, that's right, limes. And so we're not gonna use this, but uh, if you would like to, go ahead and do. All right, now it's time to build our margarita. And uh, you can see I have sliced our limes, uh, cut one of them in half, and I'm gonna juice it. Uh, just put that half down there on that tower, spin it around, and the grooves there are going to take out all of the juice and leave you with an empty husk, which you then throw in the trash. And I'm gonna juice the other Lime there. The other one I've cut into uh, sections. I actually juiced half of it, but I cut it into six sections because uh, I'm going to make two drinks. So I cut two garnishes. And then the third wedge we're actually going to uh, use to wet the rim of the glass so you can stick all of that salt uh, that's there for a garnish. And you can see that here. I've uh, wedged two. Uh, for garnishes. You'll see how uh, that's done in a second and uh, another one here uh, to wet the rims of the glass. Now, to get our cocktail glass ready, we're going to take a lime uh, that we cut, the lime wedge. We're going to rub it on half of the rim and we have our dish of salt here. We'll just roll that salt along the rim. Let's start with tequila. In this recipe, we're gonna use two ounces of tequila. So that is one full jigger here. 
So put your jigger up close to your mixing glass, get it topped off there. Two ounces of tequila. Now we are going to use half that much uh, fresh lime juice. So we're gonna use one ounce of the fresh lime juice. And here we can pour that right in the other side of the jigger. You get the lime juice in there. Now we're gonna use a quarter of the amount of tequila in both the orange liqueur and our simple syrup. So our orange liqueur, our triple sec, we are going to use half an ounce. We're doing a half ounce of simple syrup. Right in there. Now, uh, we're going to do an up cocktail first, and up means a drink that is chilled, but then served with no ice in it. So like uh, a classic martini in a martini glass. Uh, then we're going to get our mixing tin. Our mixing tin goes right over the top. Give it a whack, make sure it's nice and sealed, and shake the devil out of it. Just Don't be afraid to shake it for a long time. It chills it, it gets the proper amount of ice melted in that drink to separate your Boston strainer. You wanna give it a just, hmm, it's a little thin metal one, a little old. There we go. Give it a whack on the side uh, gently so you don't break anything until it comes off. We are going to use our Hawthorne strainer for that. That's the one with the little wires on it. Goes right over our cocktail glass. And we are also going to use a tea strainer because a little bit of that pulp will get into our cocktail through the Hawthorne strainer, but that tea strainer is going to catch all of that other pulp and make for a nice, clear margarita. So I like my up drinks to be super, super clear. I think it's prettier. So that is why I use a tea strainer on that. And you can see right there, we're gonna garnish that. I have sliced the lime down the side. I'll put that on the other side uh, from the salt. And there we have it, an up margarita. All right, now we're gonna make the same margarita, but we're gonna serve it and a different vessel. So we're gonna serve it as a rocks drink. And I said I was gonna show you how to use a uh, julep strainer. That is this guy. This guy fits right in the glass like that. And it will also strain uh, fine. Uh, just hold it in with your finger. And there you have it, the classic margarita, a drink well worth making at home. And because the recipe is so easily adaptable, it's very easy to make the drink to your preferences. You like it boozier? More tequila. Tartar? More lime juice. Sweeter? More simple syrup. You like a little more warming feeling in your gut? A little more orange liqueur. So try this one at home, and until next time, happy beveraging.